So this is the Logitech G923. I used to have G929 or G29, Logitech G29. And I just recently bought this one, the G923. Upgraded from G29. Um, this is uh, $399. And um, I don't, I'm not happy with it. No, um, I thought it was fine at first, but I thought it's an actual actual upgrade from G29 but it doesn't so I was having issue with uh, the joypad or the d-pad um, when I press the either up right left or down it's really easy, you know, um, to accidentally press like the in between up or left. You know, it's really easy to press in between. So whatever you do, you know, it, it messed it messed up the control. that one for the rotation this one I don't know what you call this but there's a trouble for that too um, feels loose you know um, when you turn like just one notch you will go two or three notches so really unreliable For the price for this, three uh, three ninety nine, you should go straight ahead and get the Thrustmaster. You know, um, T three hundred RS GT edition for three ninety nine. Way better. Okay, we go back to Logitech G nine twenty three. Um, the, uh, the, the force feedback, I think it's, it's just the same as the G29. I don't know what they change. Um, maybe here, some of the color here, you know, color of the buttons. And, um, this one gotten worse. And um, yeah, it's all the same. But the big change too, they changed the brake, <coughs> the brake resistance is really nice now compared to the G29. It's nicer better now you know I don't know if you know what, what I'm talking about about the the G29 brake pedals it was really steep yeah, it's really steep this one they fixed it but then I wasn't happy with it because you know the price was like 399 I should you know, I should have bought this in the first place. Way nicer, you know, uh, quieter. Um, it feels good. Um, I don't know, for some reason, I feel the, even the, the engine is about to stall or something. 
you will feel it. You you will feel the feedback. Something like that. So yep, uh, this is the Thrustmaster T three hundred um, GT edition with three pedals. Um, it has a uh, what's called this um rubber feel you know the steering wheel you know um, but I think I'd rather go with this one you know it's uh, for it looks simple and I think it works you know you know um moves but this one looks nice though uh, the build quality on this on the logitech g92 g9923 the quality on this is nice on the wheel look at the wheel you know so other than that that's pretty much it overall this one is better choice trust master g trust master t300 rs gt edition and um, for the pedals i like the pedals too um, the brake it feels to me it feels better it feels better It comes with the rubber stopper that you can put in the back too if you wanna if you wanna like a harder more resistance on the brakes you can put that one in the back too but I didn't I didn't put one I like the way I like the way it is clutch feel good This is far more better than this one. This one, the Logitech G923, you know it's it's clunky. Like right now you can hear it. This one. Mm -mm. Feels good. So, my suggestion is if you're about to buy a new steering wheel, uh, I think you only have two choices as a mid, you know, um, entry level, you know, uh, wheel. In the market right now you know a little cheaper than fanatic or you know some other stuff there 399 I'll go for Thrustmaster D300 GT edition no doubt this is the winner in my opinion you know any day the difference is like day and night difference you know you will regret you bought this in the first place when you get to try this one 